Hello, this is Video Free America 1. I want to show you something I've seen on the news on my email today about gun control and Diana Feinstein and these other gun control bleeding heart liberals. All because of this shooting in Connecticut. Guy used two handguns and they want to ban assault weapons. I don't get it. You be the judge. They're going to try to do it just because of that. Okay? A few people go out and blow people away because they're, they're morons, they're idiots, they're retarded, they're, they're mental. And they blame it on guns. If somebody took a car and drove to a school and killed 10 kids, are they going to ban automobiles? Come on. Are they, if someone took a baseball bat into a school and beat kids to death, are they going to ban baseball? No, I don't think so. So why are they going after guns for? Just because some moron decides he was, he, he's so unstable that he was able to p obtain a couple of handguns and go in there and shoot somebody, and then they're going to blame handguns for it. This is so lame. The, the people... They need to fire Congress. They need to fire everybody in that government and start over. They're nothing but a bunch of lifetimers in there. They're making all this money. They're not doing anything but just making laws against everybody in this nation. They're stupid. They're ignorant. They need to be taken out completely. Okay, here, listen to this news thing, okay? Video Free America 1. Video Free America 1. I'm listening to a bunch of dribble from our president from this other girl on here. I'm not too sure who she is. But she introduced the first assault weapons ban back in the 90s. And she's going to try, to try to introduce it again this year because of the shooting in Connecticut. Now, come on. He used handguns. He did not use an assault weapon. What's up with this, people, man? Are these people nuts? The problem is they are nuts. They're a bunch of bleeding heart liberals, and they don't have a clue about anything. All they're doing is making money, being a politician. They're, they're career politicians, and that's what they do. If they didn't have a politician job, they would probably be working at freaking McDonald's, okay? But anyway, here we go. This is ridiculous, man. I'm going to let you hear this thing. But that can't be an excuse for an action. Surely we can do better than this. In the coming weeks, I'll use whatever power this office holds to engage my fellow citizens, from law enforcement to mental health professionals to parents and educators, in an effort aimed at preventing more tragedies like this. Because what choice do we have? We can't accept events like this as routine. Are we really prepared to say that we're powerless in the face of such carnage? That the politics are too hard? California Senator Dianne Feinstein, who yeah, wrote Dianne the Feinstein. ban, which was signed by Pretty bad. President Clinton. Apparently, Clinton apparently she's Jewish and she's an idiot. It's too Bush bad. Jewish people are supposed to be cool. The press yesterday that she she just loves the Jews. The Hope you love her. Of that bill on day one. We are supposed to protect our Jewish population because the Jesus loves them. I love the Jewish the people. I'm, a, I'm grafted into the Jewish people because I'm a Christian. Assault weapons. Uh, it will ban the sale, the transfer, the importation. Can you believe this? Uh, and the possession, not retroactively, but prospectively. And it will ban the same for big clips, drums, or strips of more than 10 bullets. So there will be a bill. Unbelievable. Can you Today, believe that? Senator Feinstein told Andrea Mitchell that in 1993, when she introduced her bill, the politics were difficult then. Everyone thought passing that bill was impossible. Unbelievable. The Judiciary Committee, and he laughed at me, and he said, Diane, you're new here. Wait till the gunners get hold of you. I said, Joe, I'm going to do this as an amendment on your crime bill. I did. Uh, it wasn't, there was no closure. It was debated. There was a motion to table. We won the motion to table. Chuck Schumer did the bill in the yours. House. Bunch Both of political bills bureaucratic went bull. through unamended, were signed by President Clinton, who mobilized you people in the House, was skin. very helpful, and became the law for 10 years. I bet you'd be the first ones to take the mark, this too. can be done. I've done it. I know it can be done. And I'm going to do my level best to get it done again. Senator Feinstein, three percent oppose it. Fifty-two support banning semi-automatic weapons, which automatically reload every time the trigger is pulled. Forty-four percent oppose that, and fifty-nine percent support banning high-capacity ammunition clips. They're probably all. I hate to say this. Probably all Mexicans and blacks no so own guns, at least not legally. Sorry. Three weeks. And maybe it's not like racist, but it's not. It's the truth. The Senate. 
I got news for you. You're going to have a hard time doing it unless you sneak in the middle of the night and kill everybody, take their guns, guarantee you. Also joining me, MSNBC's Chris Jansen, who has been. This is Video Free American One signing out in anger. And I want to say God bless, and I, I pity everybody. I pity us all. And thank you. In Jesus' name, I pray. See you later. Bye.